All right, we got the spindle shaft installed on the new thrust bearing. And what I've done is I actually have two out of the four radial bearings in there as well. So it's constrained on this axis, but not this one, because I don't have those bearings in. So as you can see, you can still wiggle it around in, in that axis, but it's fairly solid in the other. But it still provides enough constraint for me to just sort of test this out. You can see it's working real nice. That's what we want to see. I actually don't have enough air fittings right now to hook up all four bearings in there. That's why I only have two. Um, but once I get those other ones in, we can do a test with all four bearings and the thrust bearing. I'm gonna start to get a sense of how rigid this whole assembly is gonna be. But right now, I am pretty happy with that. You can see, because it's not preloaded, there's a bit of a gap in there, but that's kind of hard to see. Maybe I'll do a test and see uh, how long this thing spins for after just one push. see it jiggling there, just in the one axis. Pretty cool. 